This is a tour of the walk to campsites at Red Bridge Campground near Kane, Pennsylvania. Here's the closest bathroom. It's two pit toilets. And at this time in June, there is no hand sanitizer in there. Uh, there's the only feature is toilet paper. There is no trash can or hand sanitizer. There is this dumpster here, which is um, available. It does have a bear safety feature, but it's very easy. You just take that part off and lift this part. So, it doesn't take any particular skill to figure that out. Here is the parking for this loop. And as you can see, if you have a trailer, you definitely would want to note on your um, reservation how many vehicles um, you'll be parking. So for me, I have two campsites so it worked out that we had um, four parking spaces available to us. Five is probably one of the most private campsites in this loop and the closest to the parking area. It doesn't have a lot of space for tents. Neither does 64, but 64 is also has no visibility to another campsite. That was 64 right there, in case I didn't show that before. If you were doubling up, it would be a good one to pair with 60 here. Which, as you can see, 60 is grassy, gets some pretty good sunlight at midday, and it has plenty of tent room. We have 10 solo tents there. Two and 61 would be good to pair together if you were needing a double campsite. Here's 62. Decent amount of tent space at that one. 61 has the nicest lake access. At this time, you are allowed to gather dead wood here, and this is June. It has been no problem to find plenty of wood, although at this campsite, I could see that it would have a problem later in the season. So as you can see, the woods are pretty cleared out here. You might have to walk a decent way if you're gathering wood. It's probably easier just to buy some. And here is this arm of the lake over there. And coming back to 60 again. It's all this woods here that you can gather down the wood from.
57 is nice and grassy. That would also get some good sun at midday. Nice and flat for tents. And 58. It's not real level at 58. There's one of the biggest areas for tenting here though. And 59. 59 is um, nice and private. It's even closer to the lake as well, although it is right across from the boat access, so it's a little more noisy here, but very beautiful view from here. Lots of nice rocks to sit on. Also a nice, very nice big area for putting up tents, so it's not all super level. Nice wild roses here. Back up to this loop path to the final campsite up here, which is 56. Private, not, um, not the most beautiful site, but if you had solo tents, you could string them all out along this flat area.